learn to draw in minutes by using letters and numbers with Buffalo Potato. Hey kids, it's quiz time. What's 15 feet tall, eats leaves and trees, and has spots all over it? Give up, Buffalo? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right, it's me. No, I'm just kidding, it's a giraffe. Today on Muffalo Potato, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a giraffe, and we're gonna do it the Muffalo Potato way, which means we only use numbers and letters. So you need a pen, you need a piece of paper, and you need to watch me. And the first two letters we're gonna draw are R and W, nice and tall, like this. And we're gonna put it at the bottom of the page, fairly big, watch me first. So set up your paper so it looks like this, and here we go, we're gonna draw a nice, tall R, just like that. And right next to it, a big, tall W, just like that. Now we're gonna draw the number nine, starting at the top of the W. Over like this, yeah, just like that. Put your pen here, go around, not too big, not too big, and there. Now we've got a lot of space between here and here, so we're gonna put a C there, a big swooping C at an angle, just like that. Start with your pen here, go across, around, down, and close it out. Now there's a spot here, we're gonna put a small skinny C, just like this. And now we're gonna draw the letter U, real small, right at the top, like that. Now we're gonna do something weird. We're gonna draw three nines stacked on top of each other, kind of curving at an angle. It sort of looks like this, that kind of feeling. Watch me first. There's a nine, there's another nine, and there's another nine. And now on this side, we're gonna draw three Ps, kind of leaning back and doing the same thing, just like that. Watch me. Start here, there's a P, there's another capital P, and there's a third capital P. Well, that was kind of cool, huh? Now we're gonna draw a capital C, but kind of looking like that, right at the top of these letters. There's your capital C. And inside that C, I want you to draw a small O, just like that, right here. Now you're gonna draw number six, just like that. And now we're gonna draw an M right on top, like this. Now we're gonna draw a capital D at an angle, like that. And now take that same D and flip it to the other side. Those are the ears. Now we're gonna draw a very small number nine, just like this, inside the O. And now we're gonna do a whole bunch of E's, sort of like this, really, really, really small, going back down the neck of the giraffe. That's the, uh, that's the hair, they got that mane. Well, just watch. E's for days, guys, look at all those E's. That's amazing. Finally, we're gonna do four small capital D's at the very, very bottom. Those are the hoofs. There's one D, two D's, three D's, and four D's. And voila, guys, there's your giraffe. Now you can do things like add some shading, you know, color in the eye, put on some eyelashes, put some trees around it, kind of like this. Hey, that was great, guys. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I don't know about you. Muffalo? Well, he had fun, too. Well, listen, I'll see you again real soon with another fun thing to draw on Muffalo Potato. Remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah. All right. Good enough. Take care, guys. Uh-huh. All right. Muffalo says he wants you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. We post new videos with new things to draw every Saturday morning. And you can log on to muffalopotato.com to see all kinds of fun surprises and neat things. What? Oh, if you have pictures you wanna show us or maybe an idea on what you want me to draw next, you can write to me, john at muffalopotato.com. Make sure you ask your parents' permission first. Say goodbye, Muffalo.